What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video. Alright guys, many of you have been asking to put out a memory tier list or recollection bits tier list. So here we have the one from the fandom which I completely, completely trust. These guys are incredible, they've done all the Japanese versions, they've tested everything out. And I've gone through this with a fine comb with my buddy who actually has most of these now. Uh, and we've kind of put it all together and seen if there's any difference that we'd make. So let's go over what the global version looks like and what you should be looking for if you are going to be summoning or going for these through the early access gotcha which still by the way is going on so if you are looking to do that create a new account because your roles were bad for example you guys can go through that as well too if you need to but this is the list and we're going to go through each one of these and talk about them and why they are where they are and if they are actually valid and which ones you should technically be aiming for for what unit now we know already the existing setup is pretty straightforward it's going to be gojo uh, nubara yuji uh, Yaga, uh, Nanami SR, Yaga SR as well too, of course. Uh, Yuki S uh, Rare, uh, Unumaki Rare. That's pretty much the meta at the moment, right? So which ones should you be using on who and why? Okay, so let's go through each one of these and go through the tier list first and kind of understand where we are on the tier list and what all of this means. So first off, we're going to go with the global version. As mentioned, Japanese has way more, but global right now has... Uh, a couple we're going to go through. So first off, uh, Japanese. So, sorry, uh, global version right here. And we're going to talk about damage. So damage dealers, of course, this is what you're all going to really look at and try to maximize. So first off, if you're planning to use Gojo, this is the one you want to go for for sure called non-standard. Okay, so this right here, if you get this A1, you are golden because you're going to be doing ultimates twice before the second turns. And I'm going to actually make a video on how to do ultimate twice without having this. But we'll talk more about that in a future video once I get all the logistics right and I get the unit that I need up. But we'll talk more about that soon. And I'm actually going to do a showcase on that specific unit as well. Uh, shortly so this is going to be his go-to so if you're going to use gojo this one is amazing so whenever the ultimate skill is activated he increases his own jitsu damage by 80 percent one turn one time so this will be turn six when ultimate damage is activated for this lb3 he goes to 85 percent this is where it gets really really good if you can get a a one version of this so lb1 version at the start of each wave he fills his own ultimate uh, skill jitsu by 200 meaning you'll easily be able to do ultimate twice before the seven turns are over again this is not a necessity it just makes it a lot easier to happen but I will talk more about the other way to do it in a different video, okay? So definitely Gojo for that one. To be honest, I think this is the only thing that he's really, really OP with outside of, I would say, Adult Time, which is also very good. So Adult Time for Gojo is amazing. This is a mixed one. So when the Commander Skill Ultimate is used, increase his own damage dealt by 70%. This is pretty much valid for anybody. Anyone who's a damage dealer. It doesn't matter if they're physical or they're cursed. It's going to be one of the best dps ones out there a little bit lower obviously percentage wise where the curse one was 80 percent for non-standard this is 70 percent for one turn uh and then this one here obviously 75 at lb3 lb1 here when the critical hit is performed you increases all critical hit rate by 10 percent for all allies for two turns so that alone makes it really really good and there's a t there's no cooldown for that as long as the crit's performed amazing right now this also works very well for nubara uh and as well as uh, gojo or yuji or really anyone who's a DPS. So this is one of my favorite ones, and I actually possess this on the Pay to Win account, I believe that my buddy has. So I think I think he has that one, I'm pretty sure, because he told me he just got it recently. So that's the one he's been using. Uh, and the other one here that's also good is called Pride. Now Pride's interesting because when whenever you do um, a Jitsu, it, has, it does uh, do it twice here. So two times, you guys can see, activated two times. It, do, it only has a five turn cooldown. And then when uh, whenever you do a, a command skill or ultimate, it's also 60% uh, at LB3. And then the LB one's actually really good. At the start of the, uh, at the, start of the turn, if your own HP is 50% or below, increases own damage dealt by 30% three times up to one time during battle. Now, this is good for... Gojo's not very good, obviously, because he guards most most everything, except for, unless he's in a domain. But this is good for, like, Nabara or Yuji. So for sure, for those two, this is an amazing one to have. Uh, so definitely, definitely use this on them if you have it. But I still prefer adult time and non-standard for everybody. That's pretty much my go-tos. Now, if you're a Taijutsu user, this is more for Yuji, obviously. Um, you can see here, when ultimate skill is used, activates his, activates own Taijutsu by 80%. And then ultimate skill is used 85 And then obviously skills... Uh, the critical hit is performed, fills the ultimate gauge by 200%. So very similar to non-standard, but for a uh, Taijutsu user versus a cursed user. Okay, very, very common, 
commonly ones used. Now, S rank ones, we have these over here. Play of the Strong, again, good for physical users. Great increasing your damage overall for physical damage. At the start of your own turn, if your HP is 50% or below, you also get Evasion, which is kind of nice, so that'll help you avoid damage. And then the other one here is Nameless Youth, which also provides you guys when ultimate skill is activated, own uh, Taijutsu by 70%. If 50% below HP activates, own Taijutsu by an extra 30%, available only after four turns have passed, though. This is an eight turn uh, one, that, so the activation is fairly long on this one at the start of the battle grants revive status which is really nice so if you do die come back to life pretty straightforward right so those ones right there are probably some of the best ones uh if you do another mixed bag exorcism is great uh because this one gives you not only taijutsu but also so physical and curse but it breaks it up to 30 and 30 percent so this is someone like nanami would be really good for this because he has he has a mixed bag of both right ssr nanami um so he will do he'll be able to really thrive off of this one allowing him to obviously get more uh bang for his buck the fact that he's a mixed bag of of both of those all right so a really good one for a mixed user again i think i think my buddy possesses this one as well all right couple couple down here that are notable are the sr ones so for example here end of scenery um we're sisters this one over here to victory which i believe scales off of the amount of tokyo users if you have lb1 yeah so you can see here all all taijutsu damage is increased by 10 uh, so this is all physical by the way none of these are, are cursed keep that in mind when you're doing this physical is taijutsu if you see that by the way it's japanese and then you guys can see a couple sr ssr ones I, i'm a big fan of desperate resistance the only problem with desperate resistance is your hp needs to be below a certain amount for this to activate but the damage dealt is really nice it's 40 percent increase uh, to your damage and then an extra 15 for two turns at lb3 it goes 45 uh, then to 20 but this is the cool part here lb1 if your hp is below 50 percent you instantly gain 1000 percent ultimate skill gauge so like a full-on ultimate skill gauge right away so that's actually really cool i think this is a, a good clutch one but again the, the 50 percent below makes it a little bit harder to to stomach right so you guys can see most of these here are going to be ssrs a couple srs here on the list but not very many okay now let's go over to the support section and see the support one now defensive wise i wish from the past exists here uh so when the command skill or ultimate skill is used it recovers all allies hp by 30 percent. so a great one to, to use if you don't have a full-on healer uh you guys can just bring this and make somebody a backup healer for you right and then at uh lb1 at the start of the battle decreases all damage taken for all allies by 10 percent. so this is easily the best defensive one on the market uh you won't find anything better than this one for sure so that's the one you want to go with utility wise these two are the best mutual trust uh whenever you use a command skill decreases all allies damage taken by 30 percent which is huge and then the lb1 at the start of the battle recovers all allies cursed energy by 10 which is great allowing you to do more skills without having to worry about your cursed energy being depleted too quickly right so another really really good option is that one as well too let's go back to support here and then this is probably one of my favorite uni from the top to bottom so when a command skill ultimate is used increases all allies ultimate skill gauge by rate by 30 percent so this actually will really help gojo also perform the two ultimates at the same time so toss this on a support like yuki or inamaki and these guys will completely fill up the gauges so fast especially if you do with ward i think it's called ward off or something uh which is uh Uramaki's, uh ultimate gauge which we'll talk more about the character i think he's an amazing character i've been using him all the time uh so when the command skill or ultimate is used 35 percent and then if the selected enemy is in break state when attacking fills own gauge by 200 percent. so this is great obviously when you break an enemy get more ultimate back so this i think is probably my favorite one out of the supports it's it's really really hard to come by and i've yet to see it on anyone's account that i know but it still does exist a couple notable ones here that, that are srs i want to talk about real quick is this one here harmony and breathing so this one will activate when uh everyone's damage increased by 30 percent when an ultimate is activated and then over here you can see at the start of the battle phil's own ultimate skill gauge by 200 try to get this one if you can to a1 and toss it on um on gojo you'll get two ultimates with my my next setup okay that's one of the best ways to get it done uh so i wanted to bring that one up as a, as a notable one a couple of these ones here like i believe this one here right now is a free one from the event so you can definitely take advantage of this which recovers hp and at the start of the battle decreases own damage by 20 percent. so good survivability one I and i i think wait is that one the event one or maybe it's, i'm thinking of a different one um, either way it's not a bad option and this is actually one of my favorite sr ones and I use this on Yaga right now. So uh, re reduces damage taken by 10% for two turns, but also has a revive skill on A1, so fairly easy to get. And you can get this from the actual shop, as well as this one here, also from the shop right here. 
Death by Wasps. So when command skill or ultimate skill is used, increases all allies' damage dealt by 10%. And then at the start of the battle, if own HP is 50% or below, recover own curse energy by 20. So a couple of really good options here from the SR perspective for support. And again, a lot of these can be purchased from the, uh, the, the free global shop where you just trade in things. And I believe those are, let me just see if I can show it to you guys real quick. Let me just log in. I'll show you guys the shop and where you can find these. I think I showed it in a, in a separate video before, but at least I'll be able, able to navigate for you guys and show you exactly where you can purchase these and take advantage of them because they're actually pretty good. So if you go to exchange, there is a friendship point section right here. So you guys can see, you guys can purchase all of these right there and it's actually worthwhile doing because you guys can see here, uh, the benefits are actually pretty good. So definitely pick some of these up. They're worth having for sure. And it's... Uh, it's a bonus because, I mean, you're using friend points anyways. You may as well get these vessels and level them all up. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do that later. So there you guys go. That's the full tier list. Uh, I'll put the link for the fandom as well here for you guys to look through. But these are ones that you should definitely explore into getting. And if you have them, start using them. Start leveling them up. And then, obviously, supports go on your support characters. Your damage dealers will receive the damage runs. Remember, Gojo was mostly curse. His physical attack's useless, right? Nubara, Nubara's all cursed and Yuji's all physical. So, and then Nanami, for example, is, is a mixed bag. So make sure you look at their skills before you put something on a character and understand what they should be using. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, shout out to the fandom. I'll put this in the description if you want to check it out. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.